find a different outfit for this event. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mari Smith and I live in Seattle, Washington. I am currently headed to a hair consultation at Soul Collective, which is in Madrona area. This is my first time at this place, so I'm really happy that they offer consultations because obviously I have a curly head and not everybody knows how to cut curly hair. I have a very specific cut that I'll insert right here. I'm just wanting a little fall refresh look cute. I feel inspired to try new hairstyles, especially after getting my braids done. But anyways, I'm so excited. I'm about to walk in and have this consultation. I'll let you guys know how it goes afterwards. Okay, I just finished the appointment as you can see <laughs> she was like messing around with it but she loved the inspo pics I saved from Pinterest and she can do it I also loved her vibe and she was super sweet and just talking me through what she's gonna be doing so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna book an appointment with her Good afternoon guys. The sun came out so it's a nice lovely day. I had to open the windows. I did have them closed earlier just because it was gloomy and I didn't want people looking in. Anyways, it's a beautiful day now. I've literally just been working here at the dining table and up in my office like just going back and forth. I've been extremely productive which is always really good and makes me feel really put together and accomplished. I just filmed a video for Cezanne. I'm gonna insert it here so you guys can see what I picked out for Autumn. Like I had to pick out a few pieces from Cezanne's newest collection for Autumn and I want to share them with you guys. First up, I had to show you guys their packaging because it's always so cute and adorable and makes me happy every time I get a package from them in the mail. Okay, now to the pieces that I would consider to be my favorite pieces I've ever picked out from Cezanne. This first piece immediately caught my eye on the Cezanne website. It is their Geo Jumper in their leopard print. It is so adorable. I was not very into leopard print for the longest time, but I've seen some girls style it so well on Pinterest and I've been inspired. I feel like there's truly so much layering that can go on with this piece. I feel like I can use it in so many different ways, so I'm so excited to pull a bunch of different pieces from my closet and style this a ton this autumn. Now for the second piece I picked out from Cezanne. I've been looking for a pop of color when it comes to shoes as part of an accessory to an outfit, and I saw this beautiful vintage blue color on their website. These are the nail trainers and they are so, so cute. I can see myself wearing this with the vest I just showed you guys and with so many more outfits. I feel like this is such a cute pop of color for autumn and just adorable. Stay tuned for the looks with these two cuties. Aren't the pieces so cute, guys? I'm literally so obsessed with that leopard geo jumper. It's the cutest thing. I can envision myself like literally wearing it with this striped button up, which is also from Cezanne. I feel like sometimes patterns, I've been into mixed patterns recently and I feel like that looks really good. Also just like a simple white button up, a cute turtleneck, a short white sleeve, like there's just so many ways you can style it, layer it with like a trench coat or something would be so cute so there's just like a slight pop of leopard print. Also the shoes with that geo jumper are so stinking cute. The shoes are called Nell Trainers, N-E-L-L. It sounded like a tongue twister when I filmed that video for TikTok, 
but yeah the Nell trainers they are so cute the color is beautiful they almost remind me of like sambas and they're also very very comfortable i tried them on super super comfy super cute love the color i have been dying over like a blue pair of trainers or a baby yellow pair of trainers and i really wanted the gola ones i posted about on my tiktok when i went to u village and they completely sold out i don't know how that happened but specifically the yellow ones that i wanted that i posted about sold out so so sad to see those go but i'm hoping that i can still find the gola yellow ones online for autumn anyways lots of yapping i'm just snacking on some grapes and about to make myself a cup of matcha for lunch today is going to be a really fun day because i have a cowgirl picnic event like an end of day picnic event it is from book club seattle you guys should follow them if you're in seattle and you're looking for like a community of girls to do things with they plan events here and there you do have to pay for it but this is my first event i'm going to with them so i will definitely let you guys know how it goes for me it's always a little usually i get a little shy for some reason going to events where i don't really know many people um, it's always very uncomfortable now as an adult in college like I thrived in those environments I absolutely loved meeting new people and meeting new girlies but the older I've gotten I feel like the more shy and the less I want to do out and about if that makes sense but luckily my friend Anne Marie is going to be picking me up and we'll be getting there together which is going to be super fun and then Jordan and I are going to be baking Madeleine's tonight. We ran to Whole Foods last night to pick up a couple things for it. And by the time we got home, it was kind of late. So we decided to do that recipe tonight instead. So we're going to do that in a little movie game night. Just him and I spend some time before my brother and my cousin come down for the weekend. We're just going to be showing them around Seattle. I mean, my brother already knows Seattle. He lived here for a year or two. But my cousin hasn't really been down here, so we're going to kind of show him around and do things, you know, the touristy things. So, anyways, it's going to be a fun day. I'm very much looking forward to it. I am on Pinterest currently also trying to find inspiration for tonight's events for the cowgirl thing. Because I guess we have to dress like cowgirls. Um, I got rid of my red cowboy boots because they were not comfy. They really hurt my feet. And that's just like a no, no matter how cute they were. I didn't want to deal with uncomfortable boots, so I got rid of them. Um, and now I'm out of Calgro boots, but I remember I just got a pair, so I might have to check in my office to see if I have a pair in there. Um, this move, I don't know where anything is, guys. I'm sure you can relate if you've moved in the past, like literally so annoying. Like Jordan will be like, where's the scissors? And I'm like, I know as much as you do. Usually I'm like very on top of it, but this move, I just wanted things put away. So when my mom was here, I had her help me put as much away like in the kitchen and stuff like that fully i think i'm the one that put mostly everything away and yet i don't remember where i put things also we're still in the process of finding like organizational bins to put in our like cabinets in the kitchen because things are just kind of thrown around everywhere and that drives me crazy so jordan and i have been looking obviously even though one piece might be inexpensive when you buy a ton of pieces for organization, it becomes expensive. So we're kind of waiting to find the perfect like containers that we want and then seeing if we buy them all at once or if we slowly build up the kitchen and the organization system in the new house. But anyways, I better get back to work. I'm doing a lot of yapping. I'm gonna make my matcha really quick and then I'm gonna go try to accomplish at least two more tasks before I leave to pick up Jordan. It's like two o'clock right now, so I'll be leaving in the next couple of hours to go pick him up from work. So I'm going to try to complete two more tasks on my planner, hopefully.
Lucy's lamp. It is so cute. It's just a little light. It's kind of like a floor light, so super easy to build, but I have a partnership with them, which I'm super excited about. They reached out and I couldn't have been more excited because I have been loving their lamps forever. But I do think this should be easy to put together, even though I don't see any instructions, but I should be able to figure it out on my own. But I'm trying to figure out where I should put this piece. Um, Cause it's so pretty and unique. I do feel like it should be on the main floor because that's where most people would see it. But I also feel like it'd be really cute in my room or my office. So I'm not really sure yet, but let's figure it out first. literally the cutest little lamp ever i cannot wait i really don't have time to figure out where i'm gonna put it in the house but once i get back from my event tonight i'm planning on shooting the content because i want it to be kind of like a moody piece for the brand and i feel like that way i'll be able to gather like where the best lighting is for this lamp but anyways i'm gonna go get ready pick out a cute little cowgirl outfit I'll show you guys the outfit after I'm done picking it out. Check it out, guys. This is as cowgirl as it's gonna get. Um, I don't have a lot of time to be like looking through my closet to find a different outfit for this event. So I'm wearing this top from Reformation. Super cute. I've had it for a couple years now. Um, kind of risking it. I'm not really wearing anything underneath but that's okay and then these shorts are from anthropology i feel like it really fits the theme because it's a cute little plaid print and then my trusty dusty boots are from naturalizer i wear these all the time i absolutely love them 
cowboy boots i just got a pair and i think i mentioned to you guys they were a little too small on my foot and they just like are painful and i want to be as comfortable as possible so i decided not to wear them and then i'm wearing this really fun oak and fort jacket it's literally one of my favorite jackets ever i like absolutely love it i picked it out this last winter and it's just like super cozy and fun so anyways i do have to leave in like 10 minutes to pick up jordan so i'm just gonna finish wrapping up some emails and i'm gonna head to pick him up i will have some time to come back and like do my hair really quickly and then my friend Anne marie is getting here at like 5 20 to pick me up and then we'll be headed to this fun fun event and i can't wait to bring you guys with me and definitely let you guys know what the vibe is afterwards okay i just finished doing my hair my friend Anne marie is almost here so we're gonna be headed out to the event. My jacket is downstairs because I do believe it's gonna get a little cold later while we're at this place, so love it. Little half updo, so cute with a couple pieces left down. I actually really like how this outfit turned out. Very simple, but yeah, it like fits the theme and I feel comfy and cute in it, so we love it. He's making us Madeline's. He also got a haircut and it looks so good. <laughs> Madeline's in the making. Good morning guys, I just finished getting ready. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday, but that's because I didn't get to take any photos in it and I really love this outfit. So I wanna capture a couple photos to post around different social platforms. But anyways, my brother and a couple of my family members are coming down from Portland and I still don't have a shower curtain in the guest bathroom. So I'm gonna head to U Village to try to find shower hooks and a cute shower curtain. Um, and then I'm also gonna go pick up some fruit and some snacks to just have things around the house. I believe they're gonna be going out a lot to like try new spots in Seattle. So I don't really have to like cook for them, which is gonna be great, honestly. But I do need to run some errands and then um, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods, just like do little things I need to do. And then I'll come back and clean. This morning I just spent working, which has been great and getting ready, which is also very nice. I just finished listening to the Nick Viall podcast with Taylor Frankie Paul, which is part of like the Mormon lore, that show that's coming out literally tomorrow. Just so crazy, such a crazy story. It's just so, so, so interesting. If you guys don't know about Mom Talk, you should go check out that podcast. It's actually kind of insane. And I'm honestly really excited for the show to drop tomorrow. We might have a viewing party with a bunch of girlies on Sunday, but I'm not really sure if I can make it. So I might be watching tomorrow or Sunday, depending if I can make it. But anyways, today's like an errands cleaning day for guests. I have to prep the guest room, put up the blow up mattress, all of that jazz, do some laundry, clean, blah, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get as much work done and little things around the house done.
or afternoon actually it's literally like almost 3 p.m but i've just been working from home and finalizing a very very exciting home partnership it's been so fun to work with home brands i realized i really love interior decor i always have but now that we're in this place i feel like i'm loving it even more and i'm gathering inspiration for this new house and i just feel very exciting about styling it and putting it together so i'm so excited i won't be sharing what brand i'm working with just yet um but i'm so excited i'll be visiting the showroom next monday so you will see in the next vlog the showroom that i am visiting and the pieces that i'm picking out i believe i'm going to be picking out pieces for our bedroom so a new bed frame and then a dresser for our bedroom which is very necessary um so yeah i'm honestly so thrilled about this partnership and yeah just excited to pick out some goodies for our new house and put the new place together um anyways happy friday guys it is friday my family is here my brother my cousin and my uncle are all visiting but they're actually at the lake right now they drove like almost three hours away to go to a lake near leavenworth and they were gonna hike four miles and then hop in the water and like float around so they should be on their way back soon because we do have a reservation tonight at lady j in west seattle it's a steakhouse and smokehouse and they invited me out and they allowed me to bring three individuals and it worked out perfectly because they were going to be in town so jordan's going to be doing dinner with his family and they're going to be joining me at the smokehouse this evening so i'm really hoping that they get back in time otherwise i might have to get jordan and his parents to come join us but anyways it's going to be so much fun i'm so excited to try their menu i love west seattle so i'm excited to see what area in west seattle lady j is at but anyways, it's also the weekend, so I'm excited to do weekend things. I don't really know what Jordan and I have planned for this weekend. He did mention maybe doing like a little getaway, like for a night or two. So we will see if we end up doing that. Um, obviously, we've just been doing things here together at the house. And I have left for like a couple getaways in Portland. One of them was for work and then he ended up meeting me but we're trying to just relax and he was kind of wanting to find like a cute little staycation so we might be looking for that for this weekend maybe maybe not it's very very last minute obviously it's like already friday so we will see if we just end up booking something for a later date but anyways i'm excited that it's friday i'm excited that it's the weekend i have so many good goodies in the mail for home stuff and i can't wait to show you guys i might be putting them together this weekend i might not i might just be lounging and hanging out but we will see anyways i'm picking jordan up and then we're headed to u village i'm gonna go pick up the mail and we're just gonna hang out for a little before our dinner reservation i'm all ready for today finally i'm wearing my Ooh, where's this oh this is a dish tank top my knitted vest is from j crew i bought it like two years ago on sale for like 15 dollars, and i'm literally obsessed with it once again my gilly hicks pants my tiki sandals and then my really adorable status anxiety purse i love it so much and then i'm gonna be taking my afternoon delight not taking oh my gosh i'm gonna be wearing my afternoon delight today i absolutely love this make summer jello scent it smells so delicious so fall so chic, we love. Okay, we're back home from the post office. We decided not to go to U Village. Um, so I'm just gonna open some packages for you guys before we head to dinner. So the first package is from Roe the Label, one of my favorite Australian brands. They truly make some of the best pieces with amazing quality. So let's check it out. Their packaging is always so super cute, but this is how you spell Rowie. So it's Rowie the label, such a good brand. Okay, let's open it. And let me show you the pieces I picked out. I've been so excited about these so they're sending me some pieces from their spring collection 
So the first one is this adorable little tank. I love like the orange detail, so cute. Material is also incredible. And then they sent me some denim. These look so perfect. Love it, I love like a flare pants. That is more fitting at the top. So I'm definitely gonna be styling these this weekend. I'm so excited. The next package is from Amazon, but I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh, yes, I ordered some more beeswax to cover our food. And these are really cute prints. It's really nice because then you don't have to use like saran wrap every time and just waste a bunch of plastic. These are reusable and can be washed, which is amazing. Oh well. But this is what it looks like. So like you can put like a whole loaf of bread in one of these. Oh wow. This is the wrong print. This is not the one I ordered. This is hideous. Like what are these little people running on there? I ordered that one, I like that one a lot. You did not order that, but I didn't order this one. Dang it, return, return, return. You did me dirty, Amazon. Completely different than the one I picked out online. We have so much to return to Amazon. Yep, they've been messing up. That's why I'm not an Amazon fan. But this one should be correct. It's not. Literally the ugliest prints. Oh my gosh, I picked the cutest prints they had and they sent me the ugliest stuff. I'm gonna insert it right here. One was like a red, really pretty red detailed one and then the other one was like a pack of three with really pretty like stripes and wow. Amazon did me so dirty. These are hideous. Okay, this next package is from San Francisco. <laughs> this next package is from San Francisco. It's from Mandarin, okay? No. Jordan was just telling me about a work trip to San Francisco and I, yeah. And this is not a package from San Francisco. It's a package from Mandarin, which is a leather bag brand. They make the cutest little like fanny packs and just really cute. Oh, hi little baby girl. Yes, they do. So this is the bag, I got this really pretty color. I have this one in like their espresso color. <sighs> so cute, I feel like this is like the perfect color for fall. So I'm super excited to style it and it always comes with these like bag protectors. So if you're traveling, you can stick the bag in here and keep it in good condition. But yeah, this next package is from Josie Moran. I have no clue what it is. I think this is just like a PR. Here. Oh wow. This seems. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest branding. So it's a Sephora and Josie Moran collab. It's super cute. Look at this packaging, it's adorable. Okay, I had to take some quick pics of this because it's so stinking cute but let's open this i don't want to just like rip this but... oh my gosh this is so cute wow this is what it looks like inside they ow okay this is what it looks like inside Josie Moran vanilla vibes. I'm such a vanilla girl. These cute little fake ice cubes are adorable. Body butter vanilla vibes. So cute little travel size body butters. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my gosh, this is like the best PR package. Um, whipped argan oil butter. I'm such an argan oil girly. I haven't used it in a long time, but I definitely grew up on argan oil and I absolutely love it. A big body butter. Jordan's also gonna love this. We both love staying moisturized and we're always trying out new body butters. This one already feels like an amazing consistency. And then, okay, this is the cutest, like literal PR package ever. This cute little like ice cream tin. Oh my gosh, so cute. 
Wow. And they gave me a little ice cream scoop. I No, like I actually needed an ice cream scoop. This is the cutest idea. So beautiful. And then this is whipped argan oil body butter. More body butter. Yes. Thank you so much, Josie Moran. This is like the best PR package I've received in such a long time. I cannot wait to use these. And my ice cream scoop. So cute. Columbia City and then we're gonna go to Macy Provisions in Wallingford no that's yeah they consider Wallingford I think it's Wallingford near Ballard area we're going to the Macy Provisions out there and then we're gonna go walk Layla around U Village for the day but I did want to show you guys my outfit because I am so obsessed with my new Rowie the label pieces they're literally so perfect so I'm actually wearing this Oaken Fort jacket that I've been wearing a lot and then I'm wearing this really cute tank from Rowie. I love the little like orange detail right here. It's so pretty, such good material. And then these pants. Wait, let me give you guys a better look at the pants. These pants are so fun. I love the like material up here. It is so stinking nice. That's what they look like. And like the patchwork on them. I love how like big they are they're just so stinking cute and then i'm wearing my new mandarin fanny pack i forget the color of this but i will leave it in the description box i forget what color it is but i have a fanny pack in the espresso color that i absolutely love but i'm loving this outfit and then i'm wearing my naked fashion white sandals so anyways i'm so excited that it's sunday today i'm not sure if we're gonna go grocery shopping or not today my brother is in town and we're just having like a very chill weekend so far. We also watched My Name is Otto last night and it was the cutest little movie. Jordan and I had kind of started it before mm -hmm. and the grocery scene at the beginning, it wasn't like super enticing to us, but we pushed through and literally I was just crying for most of that movie. It was so, so good. I would literally recommend My Name is Otto to anyone. Such a cute movie. Man, oh, I like your sweater. Is it? I yeah. don't think my, the man whose name was Otto. You don't think it's called that? No. Oh, look at it. Yeah, I think it's called the, a man named Otto. A man, a man, Otto? The man Otto? No, it's called the man named Otto. Otto man? No. Anyways, I will leave that in the description box Otto as man? well. Look at little Layla. <laughs>
has it all over her. some very delicious donuts at the flower box and then we decided to go to shop post afterwards and i wanted to check out their home vintage pieces because i know they have the cutest selection every time i go they have the cutest things so i found a very very cute metallic bowl that i want to use as a cute little fruit bowl in our kitchen so i'm super excited about that but yeah i'm so excited to fill it with some fruit and some cute things but Anyways, yeah, it's been a very chill Sunday. We also went to Costco, ran some errands, and we're also gonna go grocery shopping a little bit later. So, very excited about that. And honestly, I'm still loving my outfit. You know when you like wear an outfit and you like it and then you wear it out for a couple hours and you're like, mm, this actually didn't hit like I thought it was gonna hit. Then you come back home and change. Well, this outfit I'm actually obsessed with. I love it. I wanna wear it every day. These pants are so comfy. I really do love the like seam here. I love how it's like a little different. I feel super cute in these pieces from Rowie the Label. So 100% recommend. I will leave the links in the description for the tank and the pants as well. They're from their spring collection. I told you guys Rowie the Label's an Australian label. Seasons are different, but their pieces are still A1 throughout all the seasons. So anyways, I will leave the links in the description box. 